Previously on Silver Sun. We're no longer heading to the Silver Sun. We're going back to the wormhole. Tane, turn the ship around and set the coordinates for the wormhole. We're going back in. You're telling me I'm just a machine? That's not what I meant. That's so cruel. Hand sharp. The electrodes just go into my brain. My heart's all mine. You're the problem, Aaron. I'm going to set in motion procedures to relieve you of your command. How dare you? I will punish you for this. No matter how long it takes, I will have you dishonorably discharged. I will crush you. I will crush you. I will crush you. I will... Starrunner leaves on its 90-year journey to the New World. On board, an elite young crew and 550 settlers frozen in suspended animation. Suddenly, you have an infection, Commander. You'll be up and about in no time. Just try and rest. How is he? Not good. Well, we won't know anything until we do some tests. All right. Just need a few drops of blood. Ah! Get away from me! Get back! It's okay, Commander. It's just us, Lillian and Mara. Who are you? We're only trying to help. You're trying to kill me. You're trying to take over the ship. Get away from me. Don't worry, we won't let this virus beat him. What's taking so long? Steve has to get the go-ahead from Lillian. With Syriac sick, she's next in command. Command is about leadership, not decisions by committee. So you think Steve should just change course? I don't see what's so hard. We're heading this way, we want to go that way. The longer we wait, the closer we get to the wormhole. Are we ready to turn around? Just waiting for the go-ahead. Panja? Uh, all systems optimal. Coordinates set and entered. Team, engage left auxiliary thrusters. Engage east. Slow down, Team. Banking too fast, you'll throw our telemetry off. I'm holding her, it's fine. Take it slower. The auto guidance is trying to recorrect your turning circles. You're turning too fast. You'll burn out our thrusters. Pancha, engage bow steering vents. Engage. Stop the turn. Turn complete. And we're back on course. Good work, Tane. A little trick Syriax taught me. But if you turn more slowly, we wouldn't have needed it, would we? I'm really worried. I can tell when Mum's lying, and she's lying about Syriax getting well. I'm sure she knows how to treat him, and as soon as we can determine what the virus is... What's that? That's the reason Mum can't figure it out. There are no human matches. No way. That program has a record of every virus. Well, every virus on Earth, anyway. What do you mean? Well, we are in space, and... It's possible we're not alone. Check this out. The usual blood separation. Clear plasma, white blood cells, red blood cells. And green blood cells? In Syriax's blood? Exactly. That can't be right. Let me get a blood scan up on screen. Wow! What is that? Whatever it is, it, it's taking him over. <sighs> 
So, are we pointing in the right direction again? Yep, thanks to me. Gee, mate, don't be so modest. Why should I be? I can't believe we wasted so much time chasing the wormhole. Can you imagine where we'd be if Syriax hadn't collapsed? Even with Syriax collapsed, we still need someone competent running things. And you'd be nominating yourself, right? <laughs> I don't see why not. I'm the best pilot, the most level-headed. You mean pig-headed? Mate, you're the last person I'd want in charge. Guys. Really? And you know someone better, do you? Yeah. You're looking at him. <laughs> Dream on. Give it a rest. Syrax is struggling for life and all you guys can think about is who's going to sit in his chair. Well, who would you have in charge? Easy. Like everything else, the job is best suited to a woman. Like you, huh? No, not necessarily. But I couldn't do any worse than either of you. <laughs> it's an alien virus, Mum. You've exhausted every other possibility. Well, my hypothesis is that Syriax came into contact with this creature during his spacewalk. Then he must have brought it back inside with him. But his suit was airtight and then immediately sterilised. Not so immediately. He nearly bit my head off when I tried to touch it. I couldn't clean it for days. And maybe that's why he wanted to take us back to the wormhole. He was possessed by an alien and it wanted to go home. It's been treating him like some sort of puppet. Infecting his mind as well as his body. OK, first we need to make sure there are no more of these creatures on board. This virus spreads. It'd be disastrous for everyone. Squirt! I've got some yummy fish cakes with your name written all over them. Squirt! Mmm, sounds delicious. They are. Want one? I'll pass, thanks. Don't tell me you've lost that flea bag again. No. Better not let me find him sleeping on my bed again. Why would he do that? He hates girls. <coughs> See? Just don't let it happen again, all right? What is it? That's one heck of a furball. That's what I saw on the star deck. I told you I wasn't making it up. It's amazing. Amazingly disgusting. Some sort of alien... Slug. But how can this thing cause so much damage? That's what I'm trying to find out. Nella and I'll stay here and do some tests, try and work out how this grows. Then maybe we can work out a way to kill the virus that's infected Syriax. Good thinking, Shing. So, um, if you don't mind, guys, please. Get out of here already. Yeah. None of the chemicals I've tried kills it. And it doesn't react to any obvious stimuli? Heat, light, electrical current? No, no and no. What about Megon? It's a bit left field. At this stage I'll try anything. Megon. Very strong and very toxic. <clears throat> Yes! It works! Okay, right now for the real test. Careful. Okay, Mr. Slimy, you have infected your last human. It worked! Megon totally nukes it. But hang on, it also nukes humans. We can't give it to Syriax. Why is there always a catch? That's great! Yeah, the only problem is it kills everything else in its path. Then what's the point if we can't give it to Syriax? We can use it to kill any traces on the ship. For all we know, there could be more of these creatures on board. That's true, we can't risk anybody else contracting this. The entire ship will have to be purged immediately. Um, hello? Yeah, hi, Shang. Um, how's that gonna work without killing us as well? I'll lock down one section of the ship at a time to perch with Megon. After that, each section will be refilled with fresh oxygen. What about us? Yeah, do we get purged as well? If everyone assembles in the D-room, you'll each have enough oxygen to last the duration of the lockdown, and then I'll purge the D-room after you leave. How long will it take? Well, each section's different depending on its size. 
The D room, however, will take 14 minutes and 37.369 seconds. Gee, Pancha, you sure you're not a millisecond out there? No. We'll need someone on the outside. Spot check any problems. I'll do it. Me too. OK, let's get to it. Aren't you coming? I have to operate the lockdown from here. I'll have enough oxygen with my spacesuit on. Well, I'm staying too. Sheng, D room, now. But sir, isn't it protocol to have two crew on the bridge at all times, in case of emergencies? It is better to be safe, to have backup. OK, but stay alert. You're not normally so eager to stay up here. It's because you're here. You don't hold back, do you? I mean, you just come right out and say it. Why not? There's a deadly virus on board. I don't want you to die wondering how I feel about you. Which is how? Can't you guess? I am. I haven't had a lot of experience with guys liking me. That's hard to believe. Well, I get admiration for my brains and respect for my ability to express difficult concepts, but no interest in me at all as a... a... Babe. <laughs> I'm not a babe. No, I'm the guy, right? So I know what I'm talking about. You've got personality and you're fun to be with. Fun to be with. Makes me sound like a cute little sister. I don't feel about you the way I would a sister. Wow. <laughs> you picked a great time to give me the babe talk, Shane. <laughs> Sorry. I, um, I've been trying to pluck up the courage for a while. Yeah? You're pretty good at it. Must have had a lot of practice. In front of the mirror. Shane, <laughs> what are we thinking? We've got to get suited up. Nice work, guys. Now remember to relax and stay calm to conserve oxygen. You're not the commander yet, you know. I don't see you trying to help. Is that what you call what you're doing? Hey, do you think we could give the testosterone a rest, boys? What's testosterone? I don't want to know. Everyone here? Yep, yes, we're all here. Yes, we can shut the door. OK, guys. Painter, Gamma Team is leaving now. Everyone else is here. D-room is sealed for purge. Repeat. D-room is sealed for purge. Copy that, D-room. Catch up. Gamma team on standby for purge. I'm closing section doors now. And commencing purging, starting in the dorm in... Five. Four. Three. Two. One very stylish spacesuit, if I do say so myself. What are you doing? Lightening the tension. I can't believe you, Sheng. What are you thinking? This is not a game! I know it's not. That's why I'm here with you. No matter what. Purging and reoxygenation of Sector 9 now complete. Locking down the bridge and going offline in 10 and counting. 9, 8, Aren't they seven. missing someone? Six. Like who? Five. Squirt, he's not here. Four. Oh no, Three. I've got to save him! Taiko, you can't leave. Off None line. of us can. But Mum, he'll die! Dad! Pancha, are you there? Pancha! She's in lockdown, Steve. She can't hear you. We'll track down Squirt. Please! Taiko, we can't put anyone's lives at risk. Squirt's in the hole. With the bridge purging now, there's enough time for me to get to the hole, seal Squirt while the empty pods and get back. No, Deeks, you won't make it. Tang, it's too risky. Stay at your post. Steve, we're on to it. Tang, Deegan Hart, return to your post immediately. That's an order. You're breaking up, Steve. Tang, Deegan Hart. This is insane. They don't have enough time. Tang. Go back, Tang. This is under control. You go back. I'll do it. As future commander, it's my job. Squirt, where are you? There he is. <coughs> Missed. Excellent. Another room fresh and alien free. What's next? Uh, the hold. So, lockdown commencing in the hold in ten... I've got him! Mission 
mission accomplished. Let's get out of here. Hey! What's going on? It's purging, that's what. Now we're stuck. We can't be. We won't have enough oxygen. We're wearing suits. We're fine. No. We use too much oxygen running. They're locked in the hold. Well, well, they won't have enough oxygen in their suits. Turn it off. Shang, I can't. What do you mean? I can't override the system. Once a room's locked down, there's nothing I can do. That's how I programmed it. Well, then unprogram it. Shang, I'm sorry. Tain and Deegs, you're going to have to stay in there. Activate your emergency oxygen supplies and breathe slowly. Happy now? Hey, hey, you followed me, Captain Bozo. You shouldn't have gone at all. Stop talking. Another 20 minutes and 30 seconds until reoxygenation in the hold complete. 20? They've already been in there long enough they're meant to. They're both smart. If they stay relaxed and calm, they may just have enough air. How easy is it to stay calm when you're surrounded by toxic gas? I'm really sorry. This is all my fault. I shouldn't have brought Squirt along in the first place. Exactly. Sandy. They'll be all right, Tycho. That's right. Anyway, if it wasn't for Tane and Degenhardt's stupid macho contest, this would never have happened. How long to go now? Just under 20 minutes. This is going to be the longest 20 minutes ever. That's so typical of me. What is? I should have left a trapdoor in the program for emergencies like this, but I decided against it. That's okay. It was a judgement call and maybe you jumped the wrong way. Things are so much neater without trapdoors. And you really only need them for human error. And I don't like allowing for human error. It's so messy. But it's me that's made the mistake twice over. How do you figure that? By not putting a safety back up in the software, mistake number one. And by not checking the hold was clear of all personnel, mistake number two. Come on, Patch, nobody's perfect. And that's mistake number three. Because I want to be perfect. Well, I agree. That is a mistake. Because you'll always be beating yourself up when you take a fall. Well, I wouldn't mind so much if it was me taking the fall. The Deegs and Tane who are going to take it for me. Well, listen, if anyone can get out of this, those guys can. I'd never forgive myself if they didn't. You and me, we shouldn't have been fooling around like that before. I lost concentration. I don't feel so good. Don't say that. You're fine. No more air. What are you doing? Holding my breath. No. I followed you. It's yours. What's happening? When do we know if they're okay? Soon. Toxic purging complete. Reoxygenation effective and breathable in 10, 9, 8, Come on, guys. Please, 7, please be okay. 6, please. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Toxic purging complete. Tain and Deeks, you're clear to breathe. What's going on? Maybe they can't hear us. Tane and Deegs, can you read me? Nothing. It's not good. I'm going to check. I'll tell the bridge. I'm going to. Wait! Tane, Deegs, we're here. Release the door, Tanja. Oh no, too late. 
You guys took your time. Well, kept you. <laughs> Were you shamming? Rats! Hey, easy on the abuse. We just escaped death by that much. What were you two thinking? The cat had to be saved. Where is Squirt? Safe and sound in the pod. You're heroes. <laughs> idiots. Heroic idiots. That's all the thanks we get for putting our life on the line. Next time the cat's on its own. Thanks for what you did today. Forget it. Hey, Tane. If it wasn't for you stumbling after me, I probably wouldn't be here now. Yeah, well, obviously I've got the best set of lungs. <laughs> you know, despite your regular pig-headedness, you follow the leader mentality and your embarrassing haircut, maybe you would make an okay commander. Really? Thanks. Well, at least a good second in command anyway. To me. <laughs> Dream on, man. Dream on. You did really well today. Were you even there? I almost lost two crew members because I forgot to do a basic check. But that wasn't your fault. You weren't to know they were there. I should have checked again before lockdown. I didn't. I'm the one to blame. Pancha? Wow, I, d I don't know how you can be so hard on yourself. Then obviously you don't understand how seriously I have to take my job. Of course I do. I allowed myself to be distracted, Sheng. By you. Um, I'm sorry. Today's made me realise something. I'm not like you. I'm not built like you. I can't let my emotions take over. But you're human. Humans make mistakes. That's where you're wrong, Sheng. I'm more than human. Look at me. I don't make mistakes. And clearly, I can't have relationships. I'm really sorry, Sheng. How is he? Honestly, he's still deteriorating. It's been impossible to stabilise him, especially after today. Oh, I need a coffee. I think you need some sleep. I can't. It's OK, I'll look after him. Thank you. If there's any change, call me immediately. I will. Come on, Syriax. You're not going to be beaten by a slug, are you? A 50 metre acid spitting space monster, maybe, but not a slug. You really are a first class commander.